Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the Piddlemouth Coast series. Today you are joining us back with our Direct Rail Services Class 66 arriving into Tanpool Plastics Factory Station. I, I didn't come up with a fancy name for it, it's just Tanpool Plastics Factory Station. Where, as you can see, we are making some plastic. We did see this in the last episode. We've got 102 waiting. These things can carry 220, so hopefully, if we keep production at levels like this, we are going to, uh, we're going to be able to make some goods and distribute them all across the map. Now that's the plan. Obviously, if you've watched the rest of this series, you would know that plans are subject to change. Uh, however, I'm hoping that uh, in this video we'll be able to deliver these plastics and uh, eventually see some goods start to be produced. And when I say deliver these plastics, I know we've had a couple of little bits of plastic delivered. Uh, you know, some trains have taken like 20 over or maybe 30 or some even took a grand total of five plastic uh, on board all this long, uh, this long journey. Yeah, it's exciting stuff, isn't it? Five whole bits of plastic. The driver definitely earned his wage that day. So yeah, we're going to be having a little ride along today with this train. And uh, oh yeah, that's the other one that we bought at the end of uh, the last episode, isn't it? I really do need something that will carry plastic that's better uh, than these. Should we have a look and see if we can see if we can find something? So we're going to stick with a DRS uh, DRS class 66. Have we got anything? Uh, yeah, we'll have the compass. Yeah, we'll have you and uh, cargo wagons. I want the ones like what we had, where they had the, the containers on the back if they are loaded. Like, not that one. Like, like that one. But it can't carry plastic. That is such an annoyance. See, that can carry plastic, but it, it won't be loaded, will it, if... Oh, dear me. Do you know what? We'll, we'll just leave it for the time being. I'll have to have a look at that. If you can... Uh, oh, hang on. FS wagon. What's this? Uh, is this... Let's have it. Oh, dear. Oh, rats. Oh, I've just sold them all, haven't I? I haven't actually added... Oh, for Christ's sake. Joe, you absolute blithering idiot. Now you've lost all your hundreds of plastic that you've just been making. Oh, do you know what? I just want to bray my head against the window there. And do you know what? I bet there were some of you that were absolutely screaming at the monitor. No! <laughs> For Christ's sake. Right, well, just ignore everything that I've just said. Because it's not happening. It's absolutely not happening. Oh, you blithering idiot. There we go. Well, that's the, that's the wagon that we wanted. And uh, now this train is completely empty. Has the last one, has that left yet? Yeah, it has. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, dear me. Right, well, we're going to have to wait, aren't we, uh, until we make some more plastic. How much have you got in terms of oil? Oh, you've got enough oil, so you're going to uh, you're gonna hopefully be making... <laughs> oh, me hurts. Me hurts. Hello, everybody. It's Joe here, and... Well, yeah, welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the Piddlemouth Coast series. Today, we are uh, actually not going to cock everything up. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just start again, we'll just start again. Pretend that that little blip didn't happen, and uh, and we'll just carry on as were. So yeah, there we go, we're joining back with the DRS-66, it's a different one, we've sent the other one on the way, um, we are, ooh, I, do, I, do you know what, I just love this intersection here, it's just absolutely brilliant, isn't it? We need some buses running over here, I mean, I, I can't really see why I would have buses running over here, because there's nothing up here, but yeah, we should, oh look, another one, yeah, that's just dropped off 93 bits of oil down here. So actually, if we flick down here, that's got, uh, it's actually got more ready to load. There's 49 there. I'm, I'm hoping that that'll get all of that produced relatively quickly. But yeah, we've got more to take over now than what we did before. So yeah, we'll, we'll pretend that that was completely uh, meant to happen because it was. Yeah, I absolutely, uh, I absolutely meant to do that completely. Uh, but yeah, yeah, oh, dear me. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, you, this is what you come here for. You, you come to my channel purely and simply for 
cock-ups and disasters like this. I'm hoping that when this plastic gets on, it's either going to... Yeah, that is what we want. Look at that. We want it to load on containers. I love it. I absolutely love it when you see that. You can see, like, half loaded. I mean, these things can carry 450, so I think it's going to be quite a while until, uh, until we see a fully loaded one. But, uh, hey, I'm going to keep trying for the fully loaded uh, plastic strain. I really am. This is, like, our goal. And we're going to strive to uh, strive to see that. I'm going to put it on uh, on the double fast forward just because uh, you know I, I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. I imagine it's going to take a while to get to Fairpont, particularly at 30 miles an hour. Okay, there's a lot on board. I can't help but feeling that if I delete all of these wagons again, it'll get there a lot quicker. It won't make as much money though, will it? Yeah, dear me. Oh, we get to go past that nice intersection again. Do you know what? I, I, there's only so many videos you can get, or only so many cover photos you can use with that intersection on, but I just, I want to use that again and again and again and again, because it's, it's one of my finer works on transport fever. Of course, what we do have to be really careful of now, once the autosave has, uh, has done his thing, is uh oh hang on we're gonna see it again we're gonna see it again let's let's look like, like oh look at that beautiful yeah boop boop it's just a oh voyager and a grand central oh look at that it's all it's all going well and i bet there's loads of people on that 87 out of 125 that'll do me not quite full and standing but uh but still Excuse me. Right, like, oh, I don't like this, this junctions of it. Oh no, it's it's not right. Okay, yeah. It looked like it was kind of leveling out and then going down again. You know, a bit like it does there at that. Although I think from, oh, pacer. If memory serves me right, I think we've tried to deal with that level crossing before. Oh, another plastic train. Oh, look at that. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant, particularly now that this chain is, uh, is starting to produce. How many episodes did I sit here banging my head against the wall because this plastics was not producing? It, it really does feel like a long time coming, but it's, it's finally, finally here. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy. Where does that go? Oh, yeah, grain. We produce grain and take it down there, don't we? Forgotten about that. What we do also need to be on the lookout for, like, I think that was, was the, the gas works was already there, but there are industries popping up across the map. I think that is another one up there, Mudton. No, I think that was already there, wasn't it? Because it's on a road. That was already there because it's all, obviously, all, uh, all detailed. But uh, we do need to be aware that industries from the last update are going to start popping up across the map. You know, like, uh, like Open TTD, like Chris Sawyer's Locomotion if, uh, you know, industries are going to spawn places. Same as if we don't serve industries, they're going to close down. Now, this is an update that I've wanted for Transport Fever for a very, very long time because it just keeps your game fresh, doesn't it? I mean, it gets to the point, like, now where we've done everything, you know? We've, we've kind of... Well, we've not done everything. There's quite a few industries, there's towns that haven't got connections to them. But we have done a hell of a lot, haven't we? You know, and we're kind of running out of brand new rail lines that we can build. We're running out of capacity, I can tell you that for free. But, um, yeah, we are running out of kind of places, new, new cargo to take, new places to expand. And that keeps it fresh, doesn't it? I particularly like the challenge as well. There's nothing more infuriating. On, uh, on Open TTD, when you, you build a massive, massive freight line and then it turns out that the coal power plant that you're taking all this coal to closes down before your first delivery of coal. So you've spent all that money and all that time and then all of a sudden it's, oh yeah, by the way, this coal power plant's shutting. You're like, no! I think when, uh, I think at some point we do need another series of, uh, of Open TTD, I really do. It's been such a long time since uh, since the last attempt, and I never stuck with it, did I? I absolutely never stuck with it, I think, because other exciting things happen 
and I just forgot to go back to it. Which is not a good reason for abandoning a series, just because other things that are more exciting happen for Voyager. Uh, but yeah, I think we definitely need to go back to an open TTD session. Of course, let me know in the comments if you would watch that, because obviously if I'm going to do an open TTD session and nobody watches it, then uh, there's very little point uh, in doing that. 60 coming the other way. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? I love this green bridge. The amount of traffic we get over this. Remember when we built it and we were like, oh, I don't know if we're going to get the traffic over it. 156, hello. Or 150 even. But we really are getting the traffic. Look, there's the Grand Central. There's another freight. Is that the 67? Yeah, it is. We've got the Voyager there. I mean, the, the amount of traffic through here. I think we just need... Oh, smash. Oh, I bit me. I don't glass. Coming across in front of the 156. I think the uh, we could do a full episode of just train spotting at this station. Wait, we'll just mind the bridge. Already got a saw red after uh, smashing it through that glass at the station. How's it coping with the hill? 55 mile an hour, that'll do. Of course, this is the fast line, so if we do have any sort of express train behind us, it should overtake. I don't think there was anything expressy behind us, though, was there? That was, oh, is that a double, double 66? Lovely. So you, you do forget that you built all these things. You really do forget that you built all these things. I'm pretty sure these Grand Centrals are really bunched up. Either that or the service is far too frequent. Mind you, we did have like two on at first, didn't we? But uh, due to demand, we had to increase them. Voyager going the other way. What? You've got 20 on, for goodness sake. We've not got anything fast. I was, I was really hoping that there'd be something that could fly in up the inside. Or flying up the outside. Fly, flying up this middle line. Uh, overtaking us, but it doesn't seem to have happened. Now, what is typical and what will probably happen is we will get the signal to go across. Oh no we don't, we go under, don't we? We dive under here. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, we don't go across, we're, we're going over here. Like, we're going all the way down there to where those, uh, those buildings are in the distance, but obviously we've got to come down here, across and along the seafront. It really is a little bit nuts how far we've come in this series, isn't it? Like, literally... You don't always realise it when you're building, but then when you take a step back and look at how much you've actually built, it's like, whoa, that is a little bit nuts. Little, little bit nuts. The condition of multiple vehicles is poor, yes. I am aware of this. Oh, we've got the nice little wooden bridge down here, of course. Look at that, we're behind another freight that you can see there. Frequent service, isn't it, on the freight line? You wouldn't want to live. Uh, well, you might do if you're a freight spotter, if you like your locos. Yeah, if you're a 66 fan, these houses along the front are definitely, like, the ones to have. Look at that. That is, that is very pretty, actually. I'm not normally known for my pretty builds, but that is pretty. Hang on. Oh, let's have that Voyager there. And let's do the do the thing. There we go. Hide all of those. Yeah. And we'll have a screenshot of that. That is lovely. That is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I'm sure you'll agree with me. Oh, you'd want to live there, wouldn't you? Hang on. Have they... Oh, they've actually not built a tower block through my railway. That's nice. First time for everything, isn't there? Do you know what? We're going to leave it on... on Oh, look at that, going sailing across the uh, the bridge there. You're telling me that that would look better with wires on. All you electrification brigade, you are telling me for one second that that scene would be improved by a load of uh, knitting over that fast line. Uh, most of you are probably saying, yes, it would actually, and it would be a lot more efficient. Now, why have we stopped? Because this is another station that absolutely needs our... Uh, Oh, hang on, why have, we, why have we got two on there? You, you go to four. There we go. 
Yeah, we, we need to Fairpont Steel. Uh, yeah, hang on. Uh, but, but, right, Faircombe Coal Train. Manage the line, please. Faircombe East. You can go to any of them. Yeah. This is another one of these, uh, just to make it more efficient. Faircombe East. Again, just fill your boots. Whatever's available, Sunshine. Please, uh, please utilise. Fairpont Steel. Oh, it's Fair Kumis, not Fair Pont. You can use any and Tampool Machines Train again at Fair Kumis. Use them all. Just get them all used. Efficiency is my game. Oh look, there's the uh, there's the Fair Pont Plastics Train, which uh, has absolutely no plastics on board because I deleted them all. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> oh dear. Another wooden bridge. Playing second fiddle to the road bridges. Yeah, they are both road bridges, aren't they? Stagecoach Dennis Dart going across the top there. Again, pretty scene. EWS, oh, we, we don't speak to them if it's DRS, a separate company, who I'm sure that all of my uh, all of my drivers, regardless of what company they work for, all get along, and it's one big happy family. Look at that, it's so nice seeing them snake across. It was a lot nicer, granted, before I put this wall up in Great Big Road Bridge in, because you could actually see there, you know, you could see through that, but uh, yeah, apart from that. Oh, what's that coming the other way? Oh, it's a machines. Oh, yeah, I forgot the machines trains actually. Damn, why are you stopping? Oh, because you want to go in there. And can't you have another platform? I, I thought that we'd. Oh, you're going to Temple West, so you're a through train. Yeah, I'd like the ability to be able to send the through lines so that they could pick, you know, if uh, they would pick the quickest route through. So obviously he'd... Oh, he is doing. Ah, right, he was going through, but he was waiting for that train to pass the signal. I've got you. Possibly. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to speed it back up again because we're doing 30 miles an hour. Come on, train, get your foot down. Just, you know, in your own time. What's that? Is that grain? No, no, it's machines. Oh, it's goods. Yeah, because it's got, um, yeah, got you. It's got steel on the back of something, hasn't it? Right, we're on our way. We're still, we're still flipping miles away, for goodness sake. Oh, I can hear a dart. There we go. How many have you got on? You doing well? Five out of 25? Well, it's about as well as can be expected, isn't it? Do you know what I reckon we should do? Because there's the buses there. I reckon we need, because Fairpont's getting quite big, and so is Faircombe. I reckon we could do with, like, a little shuttle passenger line up and down here. Because we've got the railway, we've got the infrastructure to do it. I think that'd be ace. But, first, the main event. Plastics arriving in bulk at... The, uh, at the goods factory. There we go, you're going to see all these plastic. We've got 903 steel stored. How many are you going to make us? 12.5 million pounds all stored now and we have got goods being produced. That's good. That is excellent if you pardon the pun. Fantastic news. Look, we've got goods waiting. I don't know where the goods are going. Where are the goods going? Fordbury and Fairpont steel train. Right, so hang on, Fordbury Goods Train, you go all the way up there, 
Yes, the Fordbury goods train, that is, uh, yeah, Fordbury, that's what we actually aimed to do, isn't it, if you remember? Put that in. This is where this whole goods business started a long, long, long time ago. So the, we're going for the Fordbury. Where are we also going? Fairpont steel train. Ah, yeah, of course, there's goods required in Fairpont. Of course, you can, uh, yeah, that is good news. Fantastic news. Yeah, I'm quite greedy, though. We need more. Get more produced. Ooh, 156 going across there. Now, what are we going to do about that plastics line, I wonder? Plastics line? I didn't mean plastics line. I meant passenger line. Fairpont is going to need a... Uh, no, where? What will we do? We could, we could pop it down here. We could pop it down on the seafront, couldn't we? Right, hang on. Buildings. Now let's have a uh, little station. It needs to be. It needs to be the dinkiest of stations. Like a little seaside kind of shuttle. We're going to go with eighty meters, and because it's a brand new build, we're going to electrify. There you go. Don't say I don't cater to you because there we go. Catering is happening. Now, we're going to have a road that comes out like that, but I would quite like, if you please, to be, uh, to be like that. There we go. So we're going to pop this station level with it. Oh, I don't think that's going to work, is it? Hang on. Uh... Passenger buildings, you're not going to be... Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Destroy that. Configure. Pop a little little station on the end. It only needs to be a little dinky one. Like, literally, small. Like that. Good stuff. Delete you. Oh, I like the new, uh, the new bulldozing sounds there. Ace. Delete the lot. So that's the road there, and we're going to build you out to there like that. Now this road is going to be bigger than that. There we go. That is the road we are using, and houses can now build as they see fit around. Now, we're going to have to get rid of this, because I don't want it. Because then, the trains will draw right the way down to the terminus. That's what I want. There we go. Lovely. Right, you're built. And you will be, what will we call you? Fairpont Riverside. There we go. Now, of course, we need some shuttles between the two stations because, uh, obviously, you might want to come down to Faircoom. Where can we shove you in Faircoom? Like, there. That's looking good. Right, we'll stick you there. Possibly? Are we are we feeling that? I think we are. No, right, if we just configure you to add the, the dinky little stop again. Just the same station, exactly the same. Now, does a bus come down here? I don't know if it does, but we're gonna delete you and you, and you. Oh, what's it whinging about? Road Vehicle 207, who are you? Oh, hang on, where are you going? Have I just deleted, I've not deleted your stop, have I? No. Oh, if you could, if you could just bear with me please, Mr. Road Vehicle, I shall have you back up and running in a jiffy. Right, up there. Too much slope, for goodness sake. Right, if we could just bulldoze all of these. I reckon we can... We are literally obliterating Fairpont here. Right. Delete that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but sacrifices do need to be made in the name of progress. That can connect to there. 
Oh, it's already done it for me. Cheers for that. We'll just uh, pop some new... Pop some new road on there. Right, why are you still whinging? Faircomb Distribution 1. Oh, heck, I've... Right, yeah, I've deleted the stop. Oh, damn it. Did not mean to do that. Right, hang on. So what are you distributing? That's that's the point. You distributing food? Oh, no, you're doing goods, aren't you? Of course you are. Right. Okay, so we need a, we need a stop. I can't believe I did that. Man, shoot, to be fair, I can believe I did that. Right, hang on, so you're there. If I stick you there, are you gonna cover most of them? Yeah, okay. But to be fair, do you co you cover there anyway, don't you? So I'm getting rid of that. That's probably where my where my truck line was to start with. Right, hang on, where are you? Fairco Malt. Pop you in there. That'll do. Right, so we've got this line. Now what the chuff are we gonna do with it? Uh, yeah, I've put, I've put the station here, but I haven't actually given much of a thought as to, you know, how we're actually going to get across. Uh, we're going to have a bit of, bit of 75. It doesn't need to be fast by any stretch of the imagination. I think we're going to kind of have it running around the back of the freight station. I think just single track will probably do. That's a little bit high-sided, isn't it, really? What about you? You're looking better. That's a better idea, isn't it? Bring it round. And then if we can uh, if we can come down, that would be lovely. Like maybe a 50 mile an hour across. And then... Oh, hang on. I mean, if I can keep it at 50, that would be brilliant. Right, now you're going up here. Can we get 75 out of here? Yes, we can. A little bit of a roller coaster ride there. Perhaps we don't actually need to go up at such a steep angle. What if I just attach you on there, right? You're going to kick off. But if we go around there like, as sharp as we can... Maybe not quite as steep as we can, though, and we'll be able to join that on. That works. Again, never been known for pretty builds. Been known for efficient and functional builds, and to be honest, even as I say that, I realise that's probably not true either. Now, how are we going to connect you here? A little bit of single track. It'd be great if we could go under this arch, wouldn't it? Although I don't think we can. You know, I just have this, this feeling that we can't. Maybe I could tunnel. Can I tunnel through there? I can! Look at that. That's ace. We'll come right on the front. Hopefully not destroy this building. Keep you flat. Hmm. It's not like in 75. Can we keep you at 75 now? Yes, we can. Oh, that's not particularly nice, is it? We'll have to sort that out in a minute. There we go. Keep you on the front. Seventy-five, yep. Keep that at fifty. We'll go for the same old fifty. bit of 75. We'll, we'll come across there. Now, are you going to keep... You're going to stay nice, aren't you? That is good. Right, you're not how I want you to be, so we'll just delete you. 65 will do. That's fine. Now, the main event of electrifying all of this. So we'll have you electrified to there. Yeah, you can't believe I've still not electrified the main line, but I'm electrifying these little branch lines. There we go, that can all be electrified. 
brilliant stuff. Yeah, I can feel the general burning annoyance that uh, that I'm electrifying this line. But it's fine, because, you know, these things do happen, don't they? It's a brand new line. It's like Tweed Bank. This is, this is Joe's answer to Tweed Bank. We'll just have the U electrified to there. That's lovely. Right. Signals. Yep, yeah, we don't want it to be one way. You've fallen for that one before, haven't you? That one can be one way, though, because I've noticed there's a large gap there with no signal in. You can be signalled there. Oh, it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. Right. There we go. So that is where we're going to leave it for today. I'm going to leave you in suspense. What sort of traction should we use on there? It's going to be an electric multiple unit of some sort. I think that that could be quite a successful little shuttle line. And, uh, of course, we've got goods being produced. So I would say that the uh, the main event for a lot of our episodes has come to, uh, you know, come to fruition. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do show your love and appreciation by clicking the like button. And, uh, of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. That is going to absolutely do my nutting, I'm sure. <sighs> yeah, hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.